15. crowd disturbance with uh, one member of the crowd having seen his last ball of this match and taken out and uh, they have certainly a couple that brings up the 50 Merrick Pringle. Uh, that was one of these nothing shots which every now and again Mohammed Azaruddin indulges himself in. Uh, really nothing at all. He may well be trying to run the ball through a vacant slip position, but a uh, lack of footwork really is, is horrendous. Yes, he plays a lot of loose shots. And uh, especially early on, one feels that always got a chance against him. No ball call, but that doesn't stop the replay being called for. That is asked for it surprise to me why he didn't immediately yes what worries me a little bit about this is that uh, he had to be pressurized into it by the south african players a couple of them said you know why don't you call for it and then only did he do so now let's have a look it looks as though it's going to be quite tight in fact he's out he's out there's no doubt about it and he can be run out of a no ball and there is the green light and he's out and the South Africans demanded it from umpire Carl Liedenberg and he's been given run out. There is clearly oversteps the mark, but he's on the back foot so he's late in getting away. Nice bit of fielding here by Andrew Hudson, underarm, and just look at that. The umpire had not quite got into the right position square on. And uh, he was so busy calling the no ball that he thought, well, again, with a naked eye, that it would have been a perfectly correct decision to say not out. 65 for three after 23, getting to the halfway stage. And India on the wobble now. Tendulkar, he owes his side a real big important innings. Just to us. That's a fine shot. Our international viewers are a little alarmed at uh, what went on there. That was just a very brief crossing opened the face of the bat and shot the ball was along the ground carrying on from his inning day before yesterday and this is going to get four more for down the fine leg Callahan just straying and he just flicks it on its way and this is what these two Indian batsmen need to do is milk the fifth and sixth bowler, Callahan and Konya. Yes, this time I've been showing that he can play a ball on the left stump as well. Of Kubaka. Is he caught? 
No, I think that bounced just in front of Dave Richardson. And one can now understand why Kepler Wessels has broken the mold, so to speak, and not brought Donald on, but brought uh, Craig Matthews into bowl because Craig Matthews has uh, got the measure of the Indian captain a little more determined, concentrated a little harder. Four dot balls. Exactly what South Africa wants from uh, their sixth bowler. could not afford, but well bowled Hansi Kornier. Mary Kringle, of course, playing in his first match in this one-day series. He's over the ground. It's in the air, but it's going to fall short of mid-wicket. Barney de Villiers out there. And they get one run. It didn't quite mill that one, luckily for him, because otherwise it would have gone straight. Now this is where Tendulkar lets himself down. Once he gets Bob down, it seems to be all or nothing and goes for an ungainly shot like this. Really is an ugly shot. Well, he's got that one. No word he has. Oh, well. Now then. What an end for Tendoka and what a way for Tingle to get a wicket. Well, Jack, we've seen Tendoka get out in this fashion a few times in this series. He had one huge whack and swing at Mary Kringle. He tried it again. This time he got hold of it, but unfortunately it went up and up and up. And when it came down, hard, Hansi Kornier hardly had to move and took the catch comfortably. And so the end of him, got 27 off as many deliveries, but with a run rate like that, it's perfectly gettable, but it needs somebody to play well. And remember that Alan Donald, he's out got four overs to go, and Barney de Villiers five, Craig Matthews two. Well, it's one of those things the bowlers think he's hard done by. He was in a way, but uh, you have no slip when you pay the penalty. I just wonder how far to the right of Richardson that was. I think you can actually give Stafford a little bit of a credit here. He actually, uh, there was a good delivery from the Villiers, the Shrevel Nimble Study Austin, committed to play in the inner group. Just before he just opened his back face and just went away to the keeper. Richardson made a great effort. Yes, he did. It was certainly uh, very wide of him. 
Hawk is down and otherwise there would have been a run. Now did he slip? And if so, has he done any damage? I think. Four of Matthews. And not much of De Villiers. I actually think the games have played, the last three games actually played, De Villiers has been a fantastic uh, bowling form for South Africa. And here in this game, he's bowled six overs so far for nine runs. And he's into his seven for a tremendous job for South Africa. When you think that only nine runs have come in the last four overs, at the very time that Kapildev was promoted to uh, try to press the accelerator, First Africa. They're the ones where the Indians are looking to get after and they just couldn't. He found the boundary there. And they need plenty of those, that's six runs. The good start by Lazardin, you still find plenty of just in a bit middle and late. And Lazardin putting us up and hitting over four to score for six. A good shot. I think India will need a few more goals if they're going to get any close to this target set by South Africa. Lovely shot, over the wicket for six. Now a man of deep fine leg has been brought round squarer. Which if uh, Tonya keeps the ball pitched up, will make sense. In fact there's a lot of field changes here. And so far, South Africa have only got three fielders in the, in the ring. You can't have a deep fine leg and a deep square leg and a deep long arm. Not unless you've got four in the ring. Fine legs come up. And that's somewhere around double seven. Well, 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 well. Whatever better than that can you see? Gavillias, who dropped the stire, has suddenly pulled out an absolute blinder. That was four runs, he had to come up in the ring, he wanted to go to fine leg. Captain of Russell wasn't allowed to have him there, and this is what happened. He's going to move, but he's going to catch him soon for a long time. Fine leg is brought up to back his stay in a circle, and fine leg is going to be back up on the big leg. He's going to be back up on the big leg. He's going to be back up on the big leg. He's going to be back up on the big leg. He's going to be back up on the big leg. That's the I just think that's the one hand. What a great catch.